And with that, we say good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Joe Donlin. Also at five, the governor's office is deploying anti-violence workers across Chicago ahead of the holiday weekend, calling them peacekeepers. Governor Pritzker's program is modeled after two existing groups in the city. Our Tara Molina talked to a peacekeeper with one of those groups who's been doing this exact work for years. She's joining us live from outside Millennium Park with new details. And Tara, location sets this new group apart. Exactly, Joe and Erica. Others doing this work are based within neighborhoods. This new group will be mobile and can work from or respond to areas like this one right downtown. And they're trained to respond to large group incidents we've seen break out here. Police call them large group incidents, and we've already seen them downtown this year ahead of the unofficial kickoff to summer Memorial Weekend. Those incidents behind the fencing and security checkpoints surrounding Millennium Park. Anyone under 18 required to have adult supervision after 6 Thursday through Sunday. And they're an example of one situation. Governor J.B. Pritzker's new unit of about 30 people called peacekeepers is fully trained to handle and de-escalate. They can help stop some of the violence before it even starts. That's Marcus Mitchell. He's the outreach supervisor here in West Garfield for the Institute for Nonviolence Chicago and has worked as a peacekeeper for years in partnership with FLIP. Flatlining violence inspires peace. We want to get in front of things so things won't escalate. We want to stop the shooting before the shooting occurs. The governor's unit is built off the work Marcus and others are doing every day. Entrenched in communities, mediating street conflict in neighborhoods majorly on the south and west sides. He says the governor's group will be doing similar work. The difference is they'll be mobile. When something big happens downtown or something like that, the, the group moves downtown into different areas. Where, as far as our group, we're from these trenches. We're from the neighborhood. So we're more familiar with the neighborhood and we're in it. So that's the difference. A spokesperson for the state confirming more than 30 peacekeepers are already trained and will be working through the holiday weekend. They'll move throughout the city with some working the downtown area ready to move. Is this something that's needed a group like this? Yes, very much so. As the last couple of years, have you seen uh, the groups of kids uh, calling vandalism, causing vandalism and stuff like that downtown. So it's very much needed. The state is funding this unit with COVID money. We learned that $750,000 have been marked for them so far. And we checked in with them today. Will this run through the summer? The answer is yes. Reporting live outside Millennium Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.